Hello friends, today we are going to learn AC 705 modifications to the opinion in the independent auditor's report. We have gone in AC 700 about what is independent auditor's report, what is opinion. We have seen the opinion paragraph in the uh, audit report. Uh, in the opinion paragraph, what we have written is nothing but something like this. We have audited the financial statements of uh, ABC and company. This statement gives us true and fair view. What if these statements are not giving the true and fair view? That is, what if there is a fraud? What if there is some other reasons and it is not giving true and fair view? So, for this purpose, we have to modify our opinion. For the modification of opinion, we have S705. Now, for in the modification can be because of the two reasons. First reason is nothing but material misstatement and second one is nothing but the limitation on scope. Let me explain you what is material misstatement. First, misstatement only. Misstatement is nothing but difference between what is and what should be. What is and what should be. So, what is uh, in the financial statement? Inventory is shown at rupees 50 crore. File it should be rupees 75 crore. Now, the difference between this is nothing but the misstatement. And material misstatement, materiality. Materiality is the decision of the professional judgment. Depends on the case to case. After this, any limitation on scope is uh, because of any reason management can impose. Now, what will auditor do if there is a limitation on scope? Auditor, uh, management says, auditor, you can check the investment, you can check the inventory and blah, blah, blah. What will our auditor do? How can he conduct audit in this case? Because of limitation on scope, auditor is unable to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence, that is SAA. If he has not obtained sufficient appropriate audit evidence, then how can he report? Audit evidence is required for obtaining the, for, uh, sorry, audit evidence is required for, uh, it is a base for the opinion. So if there is not a base, then how can the auditor comment anything? Now we have two more terms, material but not pervasive and second one is material and pervasive. Materiality, I said already, it is professional judgment. Now pervasive, pervasive means overall. So what if this material not pervasive means it is affecting only one item of the financial statement and material and pervasive means it is affecting the whole financial statements. So, if there is a material misstatement and that material misstatement is not pervasive, that is, it is affecting only one part or one account balance, like it is affecting only inventory, then what kind of a opinion it will be? It will be qualified opinion. So, it will be qualified opinion. But if it is affecting the whole financial statement, then it will be adverse opinion. So, uh, if it is affecting the only one part of the financial statement, then qualified opinion. Otherwise, it, if, if affecting the whole financial statement, then it will be adverse opinion. After this, limitation on scope. If there is a limitation on scope and it is not pervasive, means it is affecting only one part. So, it will be, so it will be qualified opinion. Now, if it is affecting the whole financial statements, then it will be disclaimer of opinion. Clear? If it is material misstatement and uh, it is material but not pervasive, then qualified. If it is pervasive, then adverse. If there is a limitation on scope and it is per not pervasive, then qualified. If it is pervasive, then disclaimer of opinion. For AC 700, when it was unmodified opinion, we were writing true and fair view. Now here, 
in this case can we write sync it our financial statements are giving true and fair view no we can write we will write it gives true and fair view except for the effect of like whatever the item is it is for the effect of uh, 20 crore of inventory or 50 crore of the investment or anything it can be now here in this case hold the financial statements are affected still you can write this thing that it is giving true and fair view no now we will write it is not giving true and fair view after this if there is a limitation on scope and it is pervasive, it is not pervasive, then we have qualified opinion. For this qualified opinion, we will write it is giving except for the possible effect of. In this one, we had except for the effect of. Here we have added possible word. So possible effect of now we don't have any audit evidence how can we do this quantify the amount so possible effect of in this case disclaimer of opinion we will write do not express opinion that is auditor is unable to express any opinion clear this uh, here we had qualified qualified adverts and disclaimer of opinion this is two by two matrix and simply I had explained the things now one more thing uh, here we write we have conducted the audit of here also we will write here uh, that the, we have conducted the audit of ABC but in this case disclaimer of opinion can we write conducted the audit of no because we are unable to conduct the audit only we have not got any audit evidence we are we were so what we will write here is we were engaged to audit of but we can't conduct uh, we have not conducted it so we will not express any opinion due to the reasons mentioned in the basis for opinion paragraph so this was all about the modification to the opinion qualified adverts and disclaimer opinion we have unmodified opinion in SA 700 these all are modified opinions